Bro, disappointing tonight, man. Um, the three points were there for the taking late into the game after not a great performance. But if you want to push higher up the table and keep the momentum going into a massive game against Arsenal, you got to see that out and we failed to do that tonight. These are the games that we need to win. These are the games that we need to win. This was the first half was, it was a good performance. I'm not going to say it wasn't, it was a good performance. The pressing wise from all the team was, it was good. But when we came into the second half, it wasn't, it wasn't the same performance that we had in the first half. It was kind of, we looked a bit leggy. It was, it just, we just weren't there. Um, but even up front, we, we start with Rashford. The lot, that the first, first half, brilliant. He had a good performance. When it came to the second half, after the 80th minute, shocking. Mm -hmm. Shocking. And Rashford's been good all season. All season's been good. That's his first bad game in a, in a while, isn't it? This is the decision making and his his lack of kind of runs in behind. And it wasn't just him, the, the whole team, you know, Anthony's side was yeah, even yeah. worse. Um, we just didn't carry that attacking threat today at all, or not consistently anyway. Even Anthony, Anthony made his runs kind of, he went back and forth, he was quiet. He didn't really put like, he, we, we didn't see the Anthony that we normally see at even Old Trafford, for example. We come away, we've conceded and, and the worst thing is we've conceded in the 90th minute and it's poor like we can't be doing that we had a chance at the end where we could have like oh, beat us 2-1 yeah. it's close and we talk he getting on to Casemiro as well for example he's our best player he was our best player making us interceptions he's done everything right again it's the yellow card that's obviously the downfall because he's not going to be at Arsenal now mm. but it's what it is look we move on but it was a poor performance. The second half, we could have done a lot better. Yeah, and it's, it's something that Eric Ten Hag will probably be frustrated with as well because, you know, that's again, we haven't been able to get a reaction at half time. We did it against City, obviously, but the result was, was what we wanted. But in terms of dropping your level after half time, yeah, yeah. you know, we, we've, we've done it again and continued it out throughout the, the second half. Does that just prove how far this team still got to go? It's got, we've got a lot. We've got a lot. It's, it's Eric Ten Hag's what, first season. He's got, he's done, he's, there's only so much he could do in that sort of sense. Like, obviously, he's stuck, whatever he said to them in the second half, it's kind of like, we get to give them momentum. The second half, it's like, we need to go attack straight away. It's like, just don't stop. But again, Eric Tanag's obviously, is, is a team that's got a lot of improvement yet. We're still kind of fighting for, I wouldn't even say we're in the title race yet, as of yet, it's, it's the top four that we need to keep mm. as priority. We've got a lot of games coming up, but we can't get excited yet. Yeah, look, we're, we're way behind Arsenal, Arsenal having a good season again, mm. but we need to concentrate on ourselves game by game, it's performance by performance. But look, we move on to Arsenal. How are you feeling about that game now? Now, now that we've had a, a performance like this away from home uh, just before it, and you know that game's only in a few days because this was wedged in between the City game and, and the Arsenal game. No Casemiro now as well. Um, so couple that with the drop points today. Should we should we still feel confident in this team that they can go and put in a big performance against Arsenal or is there a bit of a damp in our feet? We need a big performance. We we cannot win we cannot let Arsenal win the league. That's a no. Uh, that's a that's a no go. We can't let them win the league. But again that, that that's down to us again, game by game to progress. Look, Arsenal is going to be difficult on Sunday. It's not going to be an easy game. Again, Casemiro is missing, so that's going to be a downfall for us. But I don't know what he's going to do in the midfield. What would you though. do? I don't know. It's up to Eric Hag. Like he's, he needs to just keep it like strong. He needs to keep it strong in the midfield. But again, even when we used to go to Arsenal, for example, we never used to fear. But I, I think it's, it's a time now where we just have that little fear. It's just that little day where we're just like, oh. Uh, we don't know if we're going to win, we don't know if we're going to lose, draw, whatever it's going to be, but he needs to put out all the performance and Eric Ten Hag needs to... Like, he won't be happy with that performance. Mm. Not today, second half. Paul. Is that if you would look at that? If you know, We haven't heard his post-match comments yet, but what would you guess they would be? It'd just be a grilling. Yeah. No, he can't be. He has to grill the team. It can't. Ha this, this performance cannot happen against Arsenal. That's a no-go. It can't mm. happen against Arsenal because Arsenal, if we do this kind of stuff in the second half, yeah, because, they'll punish us. Yeah. They will punish us in Emirates. And, and, we did, and they did that last season. Yeah. We beat him at Old Trafford. I think we beat him. Yeah, we beat him. Yeah, Trafford. there you go. Yeah, when it came to Emirates, they just smoked us. Mm. But again, we need to go into Sunday with confidence. They need, they need to be, they need to be switched on. They, they need, they need more agility. We just, we need to be, we need to concentrate. Mm. We need to concentrate. But again, after that performance, it's gonna be difficult. But again, it's, it's about seeing what the players actually have got because that's gonna be a big game. Mm. Did, did big we get game. humbled today? Was that like a, a little bit of a humbler to say, you know what? 
I'll say relax yeah. a little I'll bit. I'll say yes, because Crystal Palace, they're not in the, what, they're in the, in the top yeah, first. Exactly. They're, they're nowhere to Great. be seen yeah. in the table. You know, a lot of the fans are kind of like giving sticks, saying, yeah, oh, yeah. Crystal Palace is great. <laughs> but no one is, yeah, where are they done? They're nowhere to be seen. But again, even when I said last time, I was like, we need to take game by game. For example, we had Middlesbrough again. I'll go back to that because we lost. But it's like these kind of teams we can't take lightly. Mm. We always come to this ground that we struggle. Yeah. We always, always come to this ground. Yeah. Look at last season when we came with Ragnik. He was, it's poor. Mm. This is a game where we should have taken three points. We didn't get the three points. But it's again, it's a disappointing effort. Even the last, what is it, the last at the end where we had that chance? If that yeah. were then, it would have been, it would have been good for us. But again, Eric Ten Hag needs to obviously get the players again on his side, give them a little grilling for obviously this performance and move on to Arsenal. Man.